Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I posted, but today I'm gonna be just chatting with you guys. I had a couple other video ideas I wanted to get out and I thought, no, this one's coming first because it's something that has been on my mind lately or a topic that has been on my mind and that is TV and kids. Should kids be watching TV? Um, and also like the guilt that comes around that. So just to kind of give you a little bit of um, some background of why I decided to talk about this today, I have had a lot, I, if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is at Marla's Healthy Life. And on there, I do a lot of uh, filming during the day. Um, sorry, this is tilted a little bit. I do a lot of filming during the day, kind of sharing what I'm doing day to day. And a lot of times I film the kids and they're actually watching TV. And I've had a lot of questions and, and not even questions, but more comments from parents or just even people who aren't parents, but um, just saying that my kids should not be watching that much TV and that it's not great for them and I'm you know not doing my job watching them and rather just sticking them in front of a TV. So I thought I would just address this because I know I'm not the only one going through this. Um, if you don't know, I'm a mom of three and I had three kids in under three years. I am a stay-at-home mom, so I'm with them all day. Um, I also have three different businesses and a whole bunch of other stuff on the go. So for me, I don't have a lot of time. I also am a person who gets overwhelmed and anxious very easily. And I find that if I am constantly with the kids and playing with them and not having enough time to do stuff that I actually need to do, I get extremely overwhelmed and I am cranky and really miserable and I'm not fun to deal with. So right up front, yes, I do let my kids watch TV. And I wanna be honest here, I wanna make this video so that mothers who are doing this do not feel guilty because I know that there's a lot of guilt around this and or a lot of shaming from pe people and even people who are not parents, which to me is not fair. Um, but I have, yeah, I have a lot of people who are just like always shaming me and I know I'm not the only one experiencing this. So I'm hoping you guys can feel better if, as you watch this video. But um, if you are a mom, if you're at home with your kids and you need a minute, you turn that TV on. My kids, I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not gonna try to pretend that I'm like this amazing mom who has the perfect kids. I don't, my kids are crazy. The only time I get peace is when they're in front of the TV and I ideally would only let them watch one hour total a day, right? Usually it's like before bed. I, I let each of the kids watch about 20 to 30 minutes each, um, usually around 20 minutes. They each want a different show because they're at different ages. So that's usually what I do. But to be honest, that does not normally happen. Normally the TV is on like four hours a day where they're, one of them at least is watching something. Um, it's on a lot more than I'd like. And some days I'm sitting on the couch and I'm working or I'm just sitting on the couch because I'm tired and I'm looking at them and I'm like, wow, they've watched a lot of TV today. I really should turn it off. And I just don't have the energy and I'm so exhausted and overwhelmed that I don't. And I don't want, I, for a while I would feel guilty and people would tell me that it's not good for my kids to watch this much TV. And I'm not gonna deny it and pretend it's good for the kids because I know it's not. And I know that there's a lot of other things that they could be doing that's much better for their health. Um, but anything else that they could be doing revol uh, involves me having to sit there with them and do it with them, whether it's crafts or playing a game, um, you know, tidying up, anything else that they could be doing involves me being there. And as a mom, you do not, you need time for yourself and you also don't have a lot of time between cooking, cleaning, working, actually taking care of the kids and playing with them and putting them for naps, changing diapers. It's just impossible to sit there with your kids and play with them and keep them occupied so that they are not gravitating towards the television. I do try to get my kids to go outside um, and especially when the weather's nice, I'm like, go out, go out and I'll give them chalk, I'll give them popsicles, whatever to keep them outside. But something that someone had mentioned to me was when I was growing up, I never, like this lady, I'm quoting a lady who, who brought this up to me. She says, when I was growing up, I, I never ever let my kids, or I was never allowed to watch TV and I never let my kids watch TV. I, they would be outside 24 seven. So I commented back and I was like, yes, that is true. That's absolutely incredible that you were able to grow up like that. So did I, I grew up not watching TV, but um, I was like, it's great. Your kids are able to grow up like that. I said, but that's just not working for me. My kids are so young. They are not allowed outside without me unless they're right on the front because our world today is a lot different than it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. Back then, from what my parents have told me and my grandparents, you could send your kid down several blocks to the neighbor's house, never worry that they're not gonna come home because no one kidnapped. It was very rare back then. 
your neighbors would discipline your kids for you if your kid did something wrong they would just discipline them nobody was offended by everything if you know you're like where's my child you can guarantee he's with a friend at someone's house like everything was so much safer people trusted each other a lot back then it's just not like that today i am terrified to let my kid go to the end of my driveway thinking someone might pull over, grab him and drive off. And that is the reality because it's happening everywhere. So we can't just let our kids ride a bike to the park at such a young age. And back then they did. So kids were more occupied back then. Nowadays, they get bored. They go out for a while every day, even in the winter, they're outside at some point. They'll play, but then they come in and they're like, I'm bored. And I'm like, well, I have dinner to make. I have to do laundry. I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm not feeling well. I need to work out. I need to, you know, do some work, that kind of stuff. So I turn the TV on. And I was thinking about this, how if a lot of people were messaging me, you know, telling me I shouldn't be doing this, I know that you guys were obviously going to be getting comments from people or at least feeling guilty about it. And I'm just here to tell you not to... It is so, there's so much pressure already, you know, from the entire world, you know, making you feel like you have, like you're not good enough and that you have to be better and a better parent and, and that you're not doing enough for your kids. And I feel like garbage most of the nights when I go to bed because I think back on what my kids did that day. And I said, I spent maybe only a few minutes reading a couple stories to them. The rest of the day they were watching TV and then they're in bed. And when I think about it, I feel awful, but I also think back and look at how well they ate. I fed them really well. Um, that they're happy, that they're clothed, that they have comfortable beds to sleep in, that my house is clean. When I look back, I do realize all the good that happened during that day and I try not to let the guilt come in. I try to push it away and I don't want you guys to feel guilty because I know how exhausting it is, especially if you are a single mom. If you are a single mom, I honestly... I, I don't even know how you do it and it's it's absolutely incredible because I have help so much help from my husband and I still feel like I'm losing my mind every single day and the only bit of sanity that I get is television for my kids and I do very screen very closely what they watch it's usually Paw Patrol and really innocent shows but I just know that there's so much pressure and so much judgment from people and it used to get to me and now I'm now that I have this platform and I'm able to share with you know some of you moms and dads who have small children and I'm assuming who let let, let their kids watch TV for more than like five minutes a day um, I don't want you guys to be feeling guilty about that because the fact that you are caring for your kids is absolutely amazing you're doing a fantastic job and I just want you to remember that it's not people don't know what you go through they don't see what you do day to day they just see, oh, her kid seems like she watches a lot of TV. She must be a terrible mom. And it's just not the case. And I want you guys to know that. Um, I didn't really have a purpose for this video aside from letting you know it's okay. If it means you being a good mom because you've had that break, then let them watch TV. Before, when I just had my first son, um, I was just, I was like, just, he was the only child. So all my attention was on him and it was actually quite easy. I would play with him a lot um, and, and things were really good. Once I had two kids, I was like, I can't do this. Like, I was losing my mind. I couldn't even go pee. I couldn't do hair, makeup. I couldn't cook dinner. Um, and I started to realize, you know what? They're happy in front of the TV. If that gives me 20 minutes to recoup, rejuvenate, have a minute, go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, then I'm going to take it because then I feel so much better and I'm much happier and I'm a much better mom for them. And at, uh, there was a while there where I had a lot of people telling me like TV is so unhealthy. My kids never watch TV. Um, I always do crafts with them. And then in the afternoon we read books. And then after that we play hide and seek. And then after that we're doing red light, green light. And like, I don't know how these parents get this kind of energy. I don't have it. And I don't have the time. And so if you can do that with your kids, that's amazing. Good for you. But I, I can't. I don't do that much with my kids in terms of occupying them morning, noon, and night. The TV does occupy them for me, and I find that when I get that time, I'm a much better mom, and I'm totally able to handle the stress that comes with the kids. And I know that a lot of you moms probably would wanna hear that, that it's okay, and that you can take that time. Um, one thing I would say is, um, one possible, let your kids go outside. Try to get them to be more active and physical, but if, they, if you do need a half hour here or an hour there, Turn it on, don't feel bad, as long as you're watching something good and something you approve of. Um, so that's just what I want to share with you. It was a really random video today. I actually had filmed a clean with me and I filmed um, a day in the life. And I just decided to get this one up first because especially around the holidays, when there's just so much going on, the TV can be a lifesaver. And I know it's not natural because people got, 
you know, along and, and grew up just fine without it back in the day, but times have changed. Like I said, you can't trust your kids outside. You can't leave your kids with a stranger. You can't, you know, be with your kids 24 seven because now in the modern world, women are working. Um, even if you're a stay-at-home mom, like I stay at home, but I work from home. I have my holistic nutrition business and I have YouTube and something else on the side. So I have a lot of things going and it's not that easy to, you know, just put all that aside and just focus on the kids when you have stuff that you need to get done. So because times have changed, we have to change as well. And I'm a holistic nutritionist. I'm all about health and wellness and, and being as natural as you can. And I'm the person like I'm against cell phones. I'm like, I'm not going to give my kid a cell phone when he's eight. They're not getting one until high school. They don't need one. But some things I am caving on and that is TV. I'm like, if my kids are going to be happy and just watch TV and give me a minute, I'm taking it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you can just get so you know, some positive, um, you know, some affirmations, I guess, from it. Something that can make you feel like you're doing a great job and that you're not failing as a parent because you're not um, ignore what other people are saying and telling you because I don't think there's a parent out there who lets her, who can let, you know, just let their kid watch TV for 20 minutes and that's it. And if there are, my hat is off to you. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. And you're doing an amazing job if you can do that. But um, I think most of us are letting our kids watch quite a bit of TV. And I'm hoping, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm hoping as they grow up and they're more responsible to be out on their own or go out to like the store or something that they'll be in front of screens less. But We'll see. Just want to share this with you. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing Christmas, amazing holidays. I'm going to try to get another video up before then, but if I don't, I love you and I will see you after Christmas. Bye.